আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু তাজবিস ম্যাথ টিউটোরিয়াল ক্লাস প্রেজেন্টেড বাই মোহাম্মদ তাজবি গুডিম টুডে উই আর গোয়িং টু সলভ এ ম্যাথ চ্যাপ্টার অফ হায়ার ম্যাথ ক্লাস নাইন এন্ড টেন দ্য চ্যাপ্টার নেম ইজ ইকুয়েশন চ্যাপ্টার নাম্বার ফাইভ অ্যান্ড সাব চ্যাপ্টার নাম্বার ফাইভ পয়েন্ট ওয়ান that is quadric equation with one variable and their solution before solving the math we have to just to know what is quadric equation of one variable and their solution so we know values of variables for which both side of an equation are equal are called roots of the equation and these values satisfy the equation a quadric equation of one variable that example that a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero here x square that's why the power of x is here two that's why the whole equation is called quadric equation can be solved easily after factorizing the left hand side of the equation if the roots are rational that means in middle term or sometimes by using formulas we can solve it we can find out the value of x from that way but all expression cannot be factorized easily on those purpose that is why the following procedure is used to solve the quadratic equations of any form whatever the form if that is a quadratic equation we can solve it by this new formula so now we solve the second quadratic equation that, that is a x square plus b x plus c that equal to 0 we will just multiply the both sides by a so that will be a into a x square means a square x square plus b x into a means a b x plus a c that equal to 0 that means we multiplied a in the both sides then we just making this part as a formula of whole square how a x a whole square plus 2 into a x into b by 2 look at here there is no b by 2 so i am just taking here 2 and giving here as a denominator that if you simplify it it will be what a b x just like this one so I'm just taking a 2 for formula, making formula, ax, this is a and x is here and b by 2 is here. So this is your part b, so b a whole is square, that means b by 2 whole is square. This is not here, totally not in here. So I'm just taking and backing it again. That means minus b by 2 a whole is square. I'm just taking this part and just subtracting that. So it will be gone and the remaining part plus a x a c is there that equal to zero so what i did i'm just making trying to make a formula for this for a plus b whole square for that purpose i'm just taking something and just giving it back now you can see this is the formula a x plus b by 2 whole square and i'm just sending the rest of the part of the right side so b square by 4 minus a c now i'm just doing the subtraction here so that is b square minus 4ac by 4 just giving this root on that side that is squaring square root in both side so it's square root in both sides so it will be plus minus and root over root over 4 means 2 and root over it will be this here now what i did i'm just uh, just sending i'm just finding the what is the value of x so that's why i'm just sending this b my plus b by 2 with the right side that is positive side if you send it there will be minus b by 2 plus minus root over this side then this a just transfer to that is multiplication if you send it to the division so here if you simplify it then there will be the same is 2 here is plus or minus whatever the case doesn't matter if it is plus then that is the lc will be 2 if it is minus then it will be also uh, the same will be 2 so here it will be exist what in denominator 2a this a is come from here to here and minus b this minus b plus minus root over so this is the uh, roots of the 
this quadratic equation and it is two equations two roots are here what are the roots root number 1 x1 equal to minus b plus it is plus this one and another root is minus this here minus nothing here so root um, root there is two roots of this quadratic equation these are the two so i think you understand now in this equation one above b square minus 4ac is called discriminate of the quadratic equation so this part is very important for your mcq sometimes in marks two marks it is also asking to you what is the discriminate of the following quadratic equation so you have to find that sometimes you will get it in mcq so you will be very careful how we are going to find out the discriminate of a quadratic equation because it discriminates the state and nature of the roots of the equation so it is just the reason of this we can just make it its nature of the root of the equation so i think you understand up to this now i am going to variation and nature of the roots of the quadratic equation depending on the conditions of the discriminant so on that discriminant we are just finding the nature of the roots what type of roots will be there what type of value that means root means the value of x so i'm just solve of x so whatever you, which word by you uh, you are comfortable you just use, uh, use that one no problem so variation and nature of the roots of the quadratic equation depending on the conditions of the discriminant so here this is the equation you get from uh, the previous one here a b c are ratio null number we will just let it we will just let it a b c are ratio null number then b square minus 4 is the greater than 0. So, what do you see here? b square minus 4 is the greater than 0. Greater than 0 means it could be 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, and it is a perfect square. That means if it is 4 or 1 or 9 or the value of the whole thing is 25, that means perfect square number. Then, the two roots of the equation are real, unequal and ratio null. That means if you put here 9 and the value of b may be 3, so minus 3 plus 5 or minus 5. So that will be real number and unequal. Both of the answer will not be equal. Okay, And they must be ratio, ratio null. So what is ratio null number? You know that which uh, number we can express by p by q format where p and q are both but natural number and co-prime number and q is not equal to uh, q is greater than uh, zero so that is when that is a perfect square that means this one is greater than zero and a perfect square then the two roots of the equation are real unequal and ratio number second condition is if b square minus 4ac greater than 0 but not a perfect square, then the two roots of the equation are real, unequal and irrational. So, like if it is 8, root over 8, so root over 8, it will come an irrational number. Irrational number means where you cannot say what will be the next number and we cannot express it that by p by q where I just told before that P and Q are co prime number, natural number, and Q is greater than 0. So, on those purposes, we can say if this part, that it means the part of the inside the root, is greater than 0 but not perfect square, then the two roots of the equation are real, unequal, and irrational. If that equal to 0, Hence, the roots of the equation are real and equal. They must be real and equal. That means this whole thing will be 0. So, minus b by 2a, it is the main set. So, x equal to minus b by 2a. For both of the roots, that is the same thing. If it is less than 0, then the roots of the equation are not real. It will be imaginary number. In 910, you it's not necessary to, uh, or we have no discussion about this in high, uh, high study intermediate. 
you will get that imaginary world and maps of imaginary map so we will do there inshallah but here if that is less than zero less than zero means minus one minus two minus three minus four whatever the number it could be minus perfect square number doesn't matter but if it is less than zero then it will not be real number in this case the two roots are always conjugate, conjugate complex or imaginary each other okay so these are the uh, variation and uh, the nature of the roots we understood now now we are just using this formula for solving some equations here so here is one equation this is quadric equation why we have this call it called quadric equation because x the power of x is what here highest degree that is 2 so that is why it's a quadric equation so we have to for making the solution compare this equation this equation uh, with the standard quadric equation this is the standard form okay this is the standard form we get a equal to what 2 b equal to 9 c equal to 9 so we just get a equal to 2 b equal to 9 c equal to 9 now the roots of the equation x equal to we know this formula already i think you have to memorize it already otherwise if you don't just memorize it minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 ac by 2a now put the value according the alphabet wise that is b 9 b square 9 square minus 4 into 2 into 9 by 2 into 2 so just i put it after the normal calculation you have to do i think it is not so difficult to look at here after the subtraction what is you get you get a perfect square number so perfect square number so that will be so either the positive one or negative one both of them are here so after that you will get two answer that is the answer i think it's not so difficult to make you understand so this is another one here minus it doesn't matter comparing the equation 4x minus 1 minus x square so at first we have to arrange it ascending order of the descending order of the power of x so this is i just arranged it with the standard quadric equation of this one this is the quadric equation the standard quadric equation and we have to compare x square equal to a x square it is minus 1 then b x that means plus 4 that is 4 c equal to minus 1 so now we are just going to use the formula here is the formula look at here i'm just using minus 4 the plus of b i'm just writing minus uh, just 4 here plus minus root over 4 is square minus this 4 a equal to minus 1 c equal to minus 1 i'm just putting it here so after that subtracting it is look at it it's not a perfect square number so it will be an irrational number so we'll just keep square root like that way but we can break it like this so that is we can write here 4 into 3 4 into 3 root over 4 means 2 and root over 3 will just like this way and after that i can take a 2 common from this 2 so minus 2 plus minus root over 3 by 2 so this one will be removed so minus will become here like this way and the plus for 1 and minus for if i multiply with this way okay it will be 2 plus minus plus root over 3 and x1 equal to 2 minus root 3 or x equal to 2 plus root 3 so that is your answer i think you understand very clearly thank you for watching this video uh, hopefully it will uh, help you to understand this chapter's math and in the exam you can answer it Thank you. See you again, inshallah, next video.